The power went out around here. There were blowing winds and howling winds and sideways rain. We had the ice storm in like 2011 or 2012. I had no power in the house like four days. And I was reading books by candlelight. Hmm. I was so happy. Crowd is chaining We Want Hook. I don't think they want any part of Hook. I think they kick all their asses. So no, the opening... they, they want Hook to kick somebody else's I, ass. I know, Brian. I know. Yeah, that's what they're talking about, you dummy. I know. All right. I made a joke. There ain't no joking on this show. And besides, jokes are supposed to be funny. Why does anyone listen to the show? <laughs> I don't know. It was a good match. There was only one. My only, only criticism. No. Criticism. No, no, no there was one. Brian, hit mute. <laughs> Not only are all three of these dudes former NXT champions, but Malachi and, Andra- and uh, Andrade were feuding over that belt. And then I look back and realize WWE spent an entire like half decade with a developmental program that only succeeded in developing talent for their opposition. He asks one question about Darby, but before Sting can say a word, MGF interrupts. You know what Sting is really good at? Not talking. Sting is my spirit animal. <laughs> Have you seen the picture of Brian Cage next to, um, what's his name in TNA now? Um, well, that doesn't help me. Moose. Just, just, no. Uh, Alexander. Braun, Braun Strowman. No. Oh. No. Have you seen those two next to each other? I expect Brian Cage is a lot smaller. That can't be a real picture, Craig. <laughs> Ricky Starks landed on his head just like this and not from the top rope. He continued the match. He also went to the back extremely angry. He thought that he was fine. And then a little while later, his neck was still not feeling fine. And it turns out he broke his neck. So I hope that Lance Archer did not break his neck. I hope for the best for the guy. It was very, very scary. Cody is now like officially the John Cena of AEW where... At least half the crowd just boos him, but he's a babyface anyway. They were solidly behind Malachi, but man, every time Cody set up for that crossroads, they were booing this guy out of the building. They did not want to see him beat him, but he did. Brian and Vinny on Halloween night, they turned off the lights to give Granny a fright. But Granny had help in the form of Lance. He ordered everyone to do the Monster Mash dance. Mm. If only I had a... I like that one. Yeah, it's a good song too. The Monster Bash. I wonder if I could mash. find it. No, Craig Bash. No, it's Mash. No, it's not. The one I'm talking about is the Monster Bash. ECW no. Monster Mash. I'm looking here at, on WWE's own YouTube. Monster Mash Battle Royal. That's October. fine, but this is WWE.com Monster Bash. That's WWE.com right there. Look at it. Enough. Do you ever have just like a five? Everything's got to be a ten with you. I don't That's understand. not true. That's not true. Uh-oh. Please. Hey, listen, if you want to hear a 10, listen to the filthy show yesterday. I laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed, and I hoped Vince was so pissed off about it because it's all his fucking fault. <laughs> Granny, what do we got tonight for the wrestling report? And I hear it's a big night in Bookland. Is that right? Uh, no. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? We'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> I think Vinny need, may need a defibrillator. He just shut you down so hard. So he put Stephanie in a taxi to get her away from the home, and guess who the driver was? Let me guess. The Undertaker. The Undertaker. Oh, man. <gasps> Anybody want to guess what he might have said? I know what he said. What well, do you think he said, Craig? Where to, Stephanie? Hey! <laughs> then I hey, if you're, uh, by the way, I just want to mention that if you're listening to the podcast right now, I did, in fact, forget to hit record. So, if you want to hear the first part of the show, go to Granny's Facebook, read all the poems. Should I read them all again? Yeah, let's just start the show over. You're listening to The Brian and Vinny Show with your host, Brian Alvarez. Don't do that. Less Luger. Les Luger. <laughs> Les Luger, his less popular Les. younger brother. And then there's Tatanka, Adam Bomb. And Tatanka Tanka. and Adam Bomb? And Big Boss Man. I did ask, and I didn't get a response from anybody, so I don't know what actually happened. Maybe Bobby kicked out a little too early. Maybe the referee. I don't know what happened, but I know people were talking about it like it was a botch. I think that uh, Darby is the one who puts these videos together, and uh, 99 times out of 100, I think they're awesome. This one, whoosh, straight over my head. Jericho admits Scorpio has beaten him twice, but the only thing of prominence Ethan has beaten lately is himself. 
And Ethan is completely ashamed. He is checking on the status of his crotch. Scorpio is screaming, that's not true! And the couch chanting, beat your meat, beat your meat. And they chanted, beat your meat. It was so... In 2021. It was so juvenile and so funny. <laughs> I laughed and laughed. So, yes, this Danielson, Eddie Kingston video was on YouTube, and uh, I wish they would have put a clip of it here on the show, because there were a few things on this show where there was the uh, presumption that everybody knew what everybody was talking about. Yes. And I knew what they were talking about, but I'm me. What about all the other people that are watching this show on, on TNT? I had no idea what they were talking Eddie about. Eddie Kingston's angry at, at Brian Danielson, and it's like, okay, I mean, I could piece it together. No. But it would, I mean, it wouldn't take that long to show a 30 second clip or even a 15 second clip of the, uh, of the other program. They often assume every person watching also watches every match on Dark and every match on Dark Elevation and every promo on Twitter that's out there, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Well, you know what? They don't. They don't. He's an angry, pissed off man. He's got to be turning Sleep heel. Sleep deprived. Oh, for sure. And I'm, I'm 100% behind angry, evil heel John Moxley. Yes. I know people want Cody to turn heel. All right. But Cody is in a weird spot. And the weird spot is this. He doesn't want to turn heel. And he's just going to end up being John Cena is what's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to be a baby face. He, he wants to be a baby face. He wants to do the outreach stuff. He wants to do the charity stuff. He does not want to be a bad guy. When he got in the ring and everybody could see Matt's face and Matt knew that he was fucked, he got the biggest pop of anyone all night. Did this kill the business? Of course not. Did this ruin the pay-per-view? Hell no. Did this run off viewers? Not a chance. It was just a lot of fun. If you didn't like it, turn off the show and watch again next week. They ain't going to be in costumes next week. They'll be wearing something else. I was doing Observer Live when they were uh, practicing this match. And uh, my phone began to get hot. <laughs> because I was getting all sorts of news. And uh, most of the news was horror. Like, someone is for sure going to die tonight. And so, I mean, to be fair, uh, no one died, so I, I could almost call better this a win. Better than expected, yes. Yeah, it was way better than expected. Fair. Some guy walking to the building. They're, Harlan. They're plugging. Well, this, they, this Harlan. Eventually, they figured out it was Harlan. For a yeah. while, they suggested it might be Michael Myers, because they're plugging the new Halloween movie on Peacock. No, it was Harlan. It was Harlan. But again... Harlan. Excuse me? Harlan. There's no D. No. Harlan. I think it's Harlan. Like a Harlan romance. That's Harlequin. I know, but <laughs> it's close. If you want to use Chucky, let's say we wanted to use Chucky for the Brian and Vinny show. Mm. I don't just go to the toy store and buy a random Chucky. There's a Chucky robot, okay? Mm. So they mail you this doll, and uh, he shows up at NXT, and uh, riding a long shotgun with Chucky is a list of rules. Okay. Yes. Because Chucky has, he's a fucking diva. <laughs> this bump from the cutter to the floor by, I think it was Wes Carter... Where none of the 84 Lumberjacks catch him. This is a much worse bump than what EO did. Much. Jesus Christ. He went off the top rope and went splat on the floor on his back. What happens when he goes up to the main roster? If he just runs through everybody here and wins the title, destroys everybody, gets called up, shows up on Raw, and they go, we want you to lose to Jeff Hardy. How's the guy, how's the guy respond to this? He needs to learn how to do a job. Mm. He needs to learn how to lose. He needs to learn that, like, you ain't always going to win these matches, buddy. I thought they did a good job, and I thought this was a very good match to end this show. So but go. I still believe that Dynamite was a superior uh, show. Dynamite gets my vote. 